Okay, so this video is about how to analyze the data using uh, our ICP software. So the first thing you'll notice is once you've uh, taken the monitor away and you've saved, you'll see you've got a lot of data, okay? A huge amount of data. And this, as you can see, is when I've got it on maximum zoomed out view for, um, for the channels. Um, so you can see down here, you can click to go into a more zoomed in view, which, uh, you know, increases the amount of time or decreases the amount of time interval you're seeing. So you can now see the individual ICP um, pulse waves now, and you can see I'm seeing in a seconds view. Okay. So you just change the resolution like this. And now again, you can see I'm zoomed out a bit more. I can see it in seconds view. And then I can zoom all the way out, and now you get kind of a four-minute interval interval between these these or, or sorry, uh, yeah, four-minute interval between these bits. So again, an even more zoomed up view, but that's not good enough. You want a um, you want a single trace that you can uh, for the whole night that you can put in the patient's notes, um, and that you can do using this. First thing to point out is that this is this channel one is your um, your raw ICP data. Okay, channel two is a um, data set I've put together which uses the data from channel one to create a, um, a spectrally resolved trace. So it's better for seeing things, for example, like B waves if they were to occur. This isn't one, but if you wanted to see one, um, you, can see, you can see superimposed slow waves without all the noisy signal from, um, um, from the pulse waves. Okay, so it's spectrally resolved, it's a spectrally resolved channel, good for looking at slow waves. This is the slow wave channel. Anyway, so let's um, see a whole night of tra uh, uh, the trace from the whole night um, in one. All you have to do is find the start of the night when the patient went to sleep, let's say probably about 2200 hours, okay, and click there. Then shift click uh, on down here to move to a later time. So let's, uh, 1140 is too late in the morning to wake up, let's say in a hospital, you normally wake up a bit earlier than that, let's say about uh, eight o'clock or something. So let's find eight o'clock. Uh, sorry, I've gone too far now. 8 a.m., okay. So now I can hold shift and I can select all of that data. What I then want to do is I want to go to zoom view, windows, zoom view, okay. And there you can see, 20, uh, you can see an entire night's period of data um, in one screen. You can screenshot this into the patient's record. Okay, so obviously this doesn't look great because the scale's wrong. So you can just fiddle the scale a little bit if you want. Um, I do this by just moving it down like that, it's that easy. You can uh, zoom the scale in a little bit. There you go. So now the scale is between minus 10, you know, you know plus 20 and minus 20. It's a better scale, isn't it? Um, so oops. Let's get back. you can undo any changes by pressing the back button. So this we want to put in the patient's notes. To do that, all you do is press the Windows key, type snip for the snipping tool, and you take the snipping tool and you take that data along with the time scale involved and you simply then press Control V and you can, can, you can, um, you can paste that like a screenshot into the patient's notes. You put your smart card in this computer in order to get into EPR. You need to do it in the morning after the ward round. Remember, if you haven't saved data in the patient's record, then it didn't happen. All right, so that's a zoomed in view for uh, the ICP Pulse Wave channel. Let's try the same thing uh, for channel two. So I'll go to Windows, I'll go back to Chart View. This time I'm going um, to use a spectrally resolved channel. So I can just Shift click down here to move to a different time. So let's go from, uh, say the patient went to sleep at about 2200 or something. Okay, so now press shift, hold there. Okay, now I'll go window, zoom view. And again, you've got a nice battery resolved trace here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. If you suspect some of these waves, you can see it's much more spectrally resolved. You can see the slow waves if they're occurring. Um, none of these jump up to 20 millimeters mercury, so I don't really suspect they're proper slow waves. If you want to zoom in on them properly, you can just 
zoom in on that area and have a look at the wave. Okay, you can see the amplitude of that wave is only zero to four. It's not really a, um, an interesting slow wave from a neurosurgical surgical perspective. Um, but anyway, if you, you can then go back again. Anything like this you're interested in, you want to put in the notes so you can see that someone's seen you, you logically appraise the RCP trace. Um, all you have to do is get that area you want to put in the notes and then um, use a snipping tool. So again, Windows, snip put that data in the in the notes, press control V, you then just press control V to put that data uh, in the notes. Okay, so let's go back. Um, one other interesting, well, another thing you can do is if you want to see the average reading of the entire night, um, is go back to uh, the chart view. Okay, again, you want to see the average reading of the section you're interested in. So let's say from 2200, until the morning, around 0800. Okay, so all I do is I go Windows um, and you can just go to Datapad and then you, here you can see the mean uh, ICP for that period I've just selected was one. You can do a similar thing, or you can do it through, um, you can create a mini window to do the same thing. New data pad mini window. Okay, again, you can see ICP was one. And that, you need to save into the patient's notes. So, snip, snipping tool. And all you do, this is capture, oops, is use the snipping tool to go new, capture that area, like that. Okay, and you can paste that into the patient record. Okay. Last thing, uh, you might want to get some spectrum. You might want to get some um, data which uh, looks at the frequency domain rather than the time domain. So again, select the area that you're interested in. So from 2200 to 0800 on the slow wave channel, and then you can go Windows Spectrum, and it will build a spectrum for that time period. So look. It's building for channel one and channel two during that period. Okay, and then you see channel one has obviously has a lot more, has many more waves um, because it's uh, than channel two, because channel two spectral result only shows you the um, slow, uh, slower wavelength waves or longer wavelength. Uh, lower lower frequency, um, hopefully higher amplitude waves. Okay, so um, there you have it. You can again put that in the patient record by using snipping tool. You can uh, fiddle around with this data as well using uh, to change the scales using these markers here. Okay.